Hello everybody, welcome to the Comic Gamer Movie Show, my name is Deshaun and we are in 2020 specifically, this is the 3rd of January when I'm recording this, so we are well within 2021, so this is technically the first video I'm making in the new year, and I, really, I just wanted to get out ahead of this because I just wanted to remind people how much Marvel content is coming, because it's not until I saw a list of it and just saw it that I went, holy shit, there's a lot of Marvel stuff coming. So this video is really going to just be me going through all the Marvel content that's coming and asking you guys which one are you more uh, um, excited for. Because I feel like since it's all Marvel, I might as well just make one video about it. And, you know, briefly touch upon what's coming and if I can get the order in which it's coming correct, that'd be great too. So far, I only really know what um, the order of some of them, but... We'll get, let's get to it. First things first, two weeks, um, about two weeks from now, WandaVision comes out on the 15th. So yeah, about a, like two weeks from now, WandaVision comes out and that move and that show looks like it's going to be spectacular. I'm hearing that it may be, I'm hearing that they, it may be more than six episodes. It actually might be eight. We don't know yet. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if it's because, if, um, if it is eight because of how they film certain, um, episodes, like in a sitcom-y fashion, it might make, it might, it probably, it, 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 um, it probably made filming a lot easier. It prob probably made, you know, you know, spreading the, um, money around a lot easier because you're filming on sets. Um, that's why WandaVision was able to finish before Falcon and the Winter Soldier in filming. Um, it was supposed to come out even sooner. Because, but it, you know, it finished before Falcon and the Winter Soldier because they didn't have to travel and go to two. They didn't really have to do much traveling. It was all on set. So, WandaVision might be eight episodes. But the show looks spectacular. It looks insane. It looks like it's something between Legion and um, Twilight Zone and um, the Truman Show. You can throw in a dab of. Um, uh, what's that one sh show? Ah, I'm forgetting. I'm forgetting all the shows that um, I wanted to um, express. But it's look. It's gonna be a very weird and out there show, and it's gonna be the first MCU tele TV show streaming show of all time. And if the Mandalorian, the first Star Wars show, is any indication, we are in for a treat. So after that, March 19th, we got Falcon and the Winter Soldier coming out. Which, depending on how long, which. Depending on if this, um, you know, which basically means they're going to just segue right into each other. You know, as soon as WandaVision ends, it's going to be like a week or two, and then Falcon and the Winter Soldier starts. So that's awesome. You don't have to, we, there's not going to be a long gap. It's literally going to be a week or two, and then Falcon and the Winter Soldier starts, which looks, which is going to be great. It's going to be about the Falcon and the Winter Soldier, you know, and Falcon coming to terms with being chosen to be Captain America and what the responsibilities of being Captain America is. I got a feeling that it's going to be about, like, that um, Winter Soldier is going to be having to deal with the now that he is finally free, what to do with his freedom? And can he live with all the things that he did? And, you know, and that's going to be a challenge for him. And both characters will learn a lot, and it's going to be action-packed. It's going to be essentially Winter Soldier, the Captain America Winter Soldier expand, um, expanded upon just over six episodes. Um, so that's going to be great. That, that show is going to have the highest um, budget per episode because of all the traveling they do. Plus, they filmed on a lot of locations. I mean, they filmed in Prague. They filmed in Paris. They filmed in, um, I'm trying to remember. I can't remember what um, country it was, but they filmed in a lot. They filmed in a lot of locations. So this show is going to feel, feel globetrotting. It's going to feel like a Mission Impossible or a um, or James Bond type kind of a movie because like I said it's gonna be very glow tropping tropping there's gonna be CGI but for the most part it's just it's just do, it, normal people throwing down and it's gonna be the battle for Captain America's legacy and Captain America's shield I'm looking very much forward to Falcon and the Winter Soldier after Falcon and the Winter Soldier Loki's supposed to happen I'm just talking about the TV shows off top Loki's supposed to happen and Loki looks bonkers. Loki looks bonkers. Says I think they say Loki's coming in May. So in May, Loki comes, and that show looks bonkers. But before that, Black Widow comes out in May as well. So Loki and Black Widow will be coming out in the same month. So while we are watching Black, so while we um, are watching Loki, 
or vice versa. We go see Black Widow, and then a week later, Loki, and then a couple weeks later, Loki comes out, so then we get to go watch that. So those are the two Marvel things simultaneously happening in the same month. So, Loki looks fantastic. It looks like Loki is like, he's got to deal with his time variance authorities, which are basically time cops. He's in some trouble. He's got to figure out a way out of it. And it's going to be craziness. And just, just to put it in perspective, I, I, I love to hit this over the head because some people forget. One of the head writers on Rick and Morty is, is, is the showrunner on this show. Just to so you know, like, if you've ever seen Rick and Morty, you see how crazy they can get with time travel and, and science and how crazy things can get. That's why, if you have, that's like, if literally, if you watch those tra the trailer for Loki, you can feel the jumpiness, the, the fun, the jumpiness, and the, I don't know what's happening, but we're going to find out. Like, 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 the feel of that show, of the Loki show. I'm not going to lie to you, Loki show really won me over. At first, I was like, I'm looking forward to all this Marvel stuff. But at first, I was like, I don't know how much I'm, like, I'm looking forward to the Loki show, but I don't know what they're doing. And then when I start hearing things about him time traveling and start seeing some of the stills, I'm like, oh, is it going to be like a goof thing? Is it going to be like him just time traveling and, you know, oh, Loki, it's Loki. But no, they got a legit story. It's some crazy shit coming on. Kevin Feige described the Loki series as a crime, as a crime mystery. As, as a crime mystery. So it's gonna be a mystery story. It's gonna be a time traveling mystery story with Loki. So that show's gonna be great. Black Widow looks like it's gonna be amazing. I've been pumping up Black Widow for months. Um, I, I, I went out on a limb before it ever came out and I said that not only will Black Widow be better than Wonder Woman 84, but it will make more money than Wonder Woman 84. I still stick by that. Maybe it's not gonna make a bill. Okay, it's not gonna make a billion dollars like I said. I said it had a chance to make a billion dollars. Not now. But I still think it's going to be not only be better than Wonder Woman 84, but it's going to make more money than Wonder Woman 84 when it comes out. So then you got Shang-Chi. Shang-Chi comes out. Uh, I believe in June, Shang-Chi comes out. And that's going to be awesome. Shang-Chi is going to be so cool. Simon Liu, he just seems like a cool guy. If you want to brighten your day, do yourself a favor and go follow... Um, I always say his name. I think it's um, Simon Liu. Ah. Uh, I always say his name wrong. I think I see one Lou. Uh, do yourself a favor and go follow that guy on Instagram, Twitter, or whatever. Because he's just a hilarious dude. He's a fun-loving guy. And I just feel the earnestness coming off of him. Not to mention, I have started watching his show on Netflix, um, Kim's Convenience. And he's hilarious on that show. The guy's got charisma. And, you know, like, I'm excited. By the way, he posted up this um, video of um, this little fun thing he posted up with a couple of the guys on the crew. And it's like a little karate compilation. Um, comp uh, I always say that word wrong. It's like a little karate little thing they put together. And it's awesome. Literally, I was just like, dude, if the, ha if the movie is like this, like the fight scenes are like this. And, like, it's going to be an old-school kung fu movie with the Marvel budget behind it and the budget of Disney. This thing is going to be massive. It is going to be action-packed. It's going to bring an entirely different vibe to the MCU. It is going to represent for the Asian community. I mean, this thing's going to be big. If it hits right, it won't quite be the what Black Panther did for... Because, you know... Um, it's just, you know, I don't, I don't know if it's going to have that same level of impact or Coco did or Coco did for, um, Latinos and uh, cause Coco to this day is the highest grossing movie in Mexico. So like, you know, it might not have that, but it will, but, it, but, but if it represents and hits all the beats it needs to hit, it will do a billion, it will do gangbusters. It will be a Black Panther level franchise starter. And I can't wait for that movie. And now, getting into um, another show that they're doing. Shit, I'm sorry. There's so many Marvel shows. What If. What If is going to be nuts. What If is um, is the Marvel animated series based off of the comic books, What If. If, um, if you know, Marvel and DC both have their, both have their theoretical stories. Um... DC calls their comics Elks World Stories. What if Van? What if? What if? What if Batman was a vampire? What if Superman landed in Russia instead of America? Those kind of stories. Marvel has their own. They call them What If, and they're making an animated series out of it. Theoretically, What If can go on forever. If you technically, What If 
is out of all the shows that they're having, What If has the longest um legs on it. Just because of how, and it depends on how many episodes they put in the first season. Because if they put 10 episodes in the first season, then they still have like 12 movies to still fuck around with. If they put 10 episodes, and they have different scenarios. Like the only thing we know for sure is they're doing Marvel Zombies, and Peggy, and what if T'Challa, what if T'Challa was Star-Lord, and what if um, Peggy became Captain America, or AKA Captain Britain. But even within those stories, there's still other stories to tell. You can tell the story of what if, um, what if Yondu never picked up Peter? What if, Pe what if, um, I don't know, what if, um, Ar um, what's his name, the doctor, um, Arsking, I always forget, I can't never say his name right. The doctor who came up with the, um, super soldier serum, I think it's in Arskin, what, Erskin, Erskin, Erstein, or something like that. But what if he never died? Like, there are many stories you can tell with the what if scenario. The artwork, the, 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 the animation is cool because it's almost like a moving comic book panel. But it looks kind of real too. But it looks like it looks like a moving comic book panel. And it's a unique art style that they're going for that I think is going to really end up, you're going to get used to it. And it's going to become very custom. There's a weird one with evil Doctor Strange fighting good Doctor Strange. We don't know what the fuck's going on there, but it looks really awesome. Like I said, What If is going to be a sleeper. And it's going to come out on, and they don't have a date on What If, but they say it's coming in the summer. So, it's coming. Then we got, um, now I don't know when this show's coming. But I just felt like I should throw it out there just to let people know. Now this isn't part of the MCU proper, but this is a Marvel property. The absolute, now this, now I know I've said last time I did my Hellstorm video that that is the last, you know, show. Last live action show. There is one more show made by the old guard of Marvel TV, and it is called MODOK. And I gotta tell you guys, it looks fucking awesome. I gotta tell you guys, I'm thinking about making a separate video just to talk about it. Um, because it's a different style. It's kind of done in the robot chicken style, the stop motion figurines kind of style. Um, if you see it, you know what I'm talking about. It's done in the robot chicken, um, adult swim, stop motion style. It's got Patton Oswalt voicing MODOK. And it is hilarious, dude. I saw little teasers for it. And I was just laughing, man. It was just funny. I love shit like that. I love, like, when they do, um... When they do, like, uh, like, like, jokey little side things where they're just, like, making fun of, like, the world. Where they're just like, this doesn't make sense. That doesn't make sense. This doesn't make sense either. Like, 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 I loved it, dude. It, I was having a ball watching these. Like, there was only a couple seconds. But I really dug it. I dig it. The stop motion style looks fun. It, it just looks like it's going to be a fun time. I actually would want that show to come back. I, uh, but I don't know when MODOK's coming out, so I'm going to just throw that out there. I don't know when that mo show's coming out, but it's coming to Hulu. That show's coming to Hulu, just in case you guys want to check it out. When it comes out, I'm definitely going to watch it and review it. I mean, I watched Hellstorm and reviewed it, so I mean, I can't get any worse. But anywho, moving on, we got the Eternals. The Eternals, man, every single day seems all more awesome and more awesome. They just put out some bios on the characters and their powers and abilities. And like I said, every single fucking day, I, well, I see something extra on the Eternals, I get more excited. Because just the concept of these space gods that are just so powerful and beyond, you know, compare. Like, like, like they, they were describing Mercury, uh, or Mercury, um, the speedster of the group, and they said she moves so fast she leaves sonic, her sonic boom. She leaves a sonic boom. That's how fast she's moving. And she can just scout an entire planet in a matter of few, in a matter of like a second. She can scout an entire planet. Like, that's just nuts that she's that fast and that, you know, that the power to it. And they, the, the description on some of their powers are just seems so cool to me. And I'm just like, I'm imagining it. And you know they're going to talk about how they affected history and whatnot. It, man, ancient aliens, they got to have the ancient... <laughs> okay, Marvel, I know you guys... you got to have the guy from Ancient Aliens beyond that, man. He's got to be in it because that's just hilarious to me. But yeah, Eternals, I'm excited for. That's coming out near the tail end. That's coming out a little later in the year. I, um, it got pushed back. Because I, I remember it got pushed back almost an entire year. So yeah, it's getting pushed back to later in the year. Which some people say that the old, that it doesn't... Because like they move Shang-Chi in front of Eternals. And they move Eternals into award season. Which some people say is because they legitimate, Marvel legitimately thinks that this movie has a chance at winning awards. Because otherwise, there's no real reason to move Shang-Chi in front of it. 
So we shall see. I'm excited for this. Angelina Jolie, you know, I mean, uh, my boy Richard Madden, which I am in love with that guy now. <laughs> I love that dude. Between Rocket Man and the Bodyguard, I love Richard Madden. Uh, but yeah, man, they got some talent in that, man. They got some talent in that. I can't wait to see how that turns out. And the last Marvel thing that they're doing is the Hawkeye show. Actually, correction, there's one more thing. But like I said, I don't know for a fact, fact they're doing this, but one more show is supposed to come out. Yeah, one more. All that shit I just listed is the Hawkeye show, which I can't really talk about yet because I don't know too much about. It hasn't been a trailer. Isn't There's images leaked, but there's nothing official. You know, hell, Even the thing, even Kamala Khan, Ms. Marvel, has something out there, which ironically is the sh another show that's coming out this year. Yes, people, Marvel took a break. But they are about to hit you with so much content, your brain will melt. Now understand this, some people might say Marvel fatigue, but the gap of time between when these things are coming out is gonna be so great, it's gonna be so good that you won't really have time to think about it. Or not time to think about it, but you won't really have time to be like, oh, it's overbearing. If all this stuff was coming out at the same time, that'd be one thing, but they're not coming out at the same time. They spacing them out. So we got um, four Marvel movies. No, oh, well, I almost forgot. Spider-Man's also coming out, but we don't know about that. You know, we don't really count that with the MCU. Well, no, no, Sp we do count Spider-Man with the MCU, but with, you know, Kevin Feige can't completely control that. But Spider-Man's coming out. Got, got um, Black Widow, Shang-Chi, Spider-Man, and Eternals. And then you got WandaVision. You got Loki. You got Falcon and the Winter Soldier. You got Hawkeye, Ms. Marvel, and Marvel's What If. You got about 10 properties coming out this year. <laughs> almost 10 properties. It's either 10 or almost 10 properties. And that's me not counting MODOK. Which would make it 11. That is a lot of Marvel. And I, for one, am here for this shit. That 2020, 2020 was miserable. An entire year, entire year without having to be able to watch any Marvel thing. Do you know how many times I rewatched the entire MCU? A lot. <laughs> Because there's nothing else to do, uh, Marvel-wise. Usually there's a movie coming out, and I could get distracted, and a bunch of videos and other things, and I'm just like, ah, I'll go back and watch. But I want nothing else. <sighs> mm -mm -mm. And it all ends in a couple weeks, and it kickstarts on the 15th with WandaVision. So, comment below and let me know. Out of all the top Marvel stuff I just listed, which one are you looking forward to the most? And do you feel like you are being overwhelmed? Which I will answer that question for you with my opinion is, hell no, because we went an entire year. No, people, we went an entire year and a half. Or almost a year and a half without a single new MCU thing. I think you're gonna, I think we can deal with this, okay? <laughs> By the way, you gotta understand too is that we weren't supposed to get all this shit. WandaVision and Falcon and the Winter Soldier were supposed to have already came out. Turtles and Black Widow were supposed to have already came out, which means we, in all likelihood we're only supposed to be getting like six of these things. But things are crazy. But not only has COVID pushed things back, COVID has given more time for things to get filmed that would have been getting filmed later, but since everyone's just sitting around, we might as well film it now, which is probably, like, Hawkeye and Ms. Marvel probably weren't supposed to come out this year, but since they're already done filmed because they got time on their hands, they're like, well, fuck, these things are going to be done by the time it gets near the, these things are going to be done, so might as well. Oh, man, it's going to be great. But, yeah, comment below and let me know which one of these things are you looking forward to the most. And and, and and you can list. If you're feeling overwhelmed, just let me know that, too. I completely understand. I'm not. <laughs> I ain't. I ain't that damn much. But comment below. Let me know. And thank you guys for joining me on the Comedy Grand Movie Show. Please remember to like, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. I'm so fucking hyped for this year.